Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on my 2017 Chevy Volt. I'm going to be changing the oil. So it's pretty easy to do. Let me show you how. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. So the first thing I need to do is get it put up on ramps. Now the front, the hood release is just to the left of the bow tie. Grab the prop rod and put it in the hole up here. This is everything you're going to need to change the oil on your Chevy Volt. So five quarts of oil gloves, 15 millimeter socket, an oil filter wrench, oil filter, some shop towels, and your oil container. And while you're up underneath here, just grab the 15 millimeter wrench, crack this loose. Get your wrench out of the way so it doesn't get covered in oil. And then quickly pull this out. You can see on this bolt, there's a little rubber washer on the inside of it. There's also a Torx bit up here you can use, but uh, don't. Just use a 15. So this is down to about a trickle now, so I'm gonna put this bolt back in and get this cleaned up. And then just tighten it with the wrench. Just snug it down. You don't want to strip this. And get all the extra oil off of this. And we'll move on to the oil filter. I like this oil filter wrench. It grabs the oil filter really well. So you just loosen it up a little bit. Prepare to be a, a shower of oil. Try to loosen this up as quick as you can. Make sure there's no extra gaskets left over from the old oil filter. I'm going to take some clean oil and put this on this oil filter on the, the bottom surface and then get this screwed on. That's just going to be hand tight. Don't over tighten it. Don't need to use a wrench unless you can't tighten it yourself. This oil fill right here tends to get debris on it, so try to get this cleaned out before you open it up because you don't want any of this in here. Sometimes you just Get some compressed air or a rag. Or some, just make sure you get this cleaned out. You're going to need about four liters or 4.2 quarts. So we got our four liter mark here. Just unscrew that. Set it aside. Put your funnel in there and uh, just pour. It's starting to rain on me, so I'm going to put this away. Before you get started changing your oil, Make sure to check the weather forecast, because if it's raining, you don't want to change your oil. You don't want water inside your engine. Also, you're going to get wet. So the last thing we need to do is reset the oil life indicator on the dash. To get to the oil life indicator, you're going to need to go to the information screen over here. Sometimes you can see the tire pressure. You can go up to oil life. You just need to press the select button right here and hold it to reset. Well, that's all there was to it. It's pretty simple. You can do it in your driveway or garage. It only takes a few minutes. But just try not to do it when it's raining. Check the forecast. Or otherwise, you're going to get wet like, like I did. Well, if this helped you, I'd appreciate you hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know how I did. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.